Hello AOS fans, Robin here and I'm back again and today I've got something a little bit different for you. Yes, it's a Word Wednesday review. I haven't done a Word Wednesday review, but I think this one is worth it because I think it would appeal to uh, our listeners, our subscribers, and because it is Ian Livingstone's board games in a hundred moves uh, from DK Books. It's a nice sort of hardback book and it is, as you might expect from the title, all about games. And uh, I wanted to review this because Ian Livingstone is a bit of a hero of mine. I would say he's had a massive influence on, on my life because I started my love of games with the fighting fantasy books and then I graduated to uh, go to Games Workshop to pick up D&D modules and then I played Warhammer and then I played Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. And, um, you know, he was involved in all of these uh, projects, I think. I'm maybe not fancy, but I can't quite remember. But he was you know, deeply involved in, in the founding of Games Workshop. And indeed, I met him in the Birmingham Games Workshop when there were only about uh, only a handful of stores across the country. Um, I met him and he signed my book and Steve Jackson signed one of my books as well. That was a very exciting teenage moment for me. Um, so I was really interested to see what he had to say about board games and 100 moves. It's basically a history of the board game uh, it opens with a little preface from Ian Livingstone about his uh, journeys in um, board gaming. So talking about his games night club that he set up in 1986, um, where you know he's still, which is still going strong. The things he loved playing, and he talks about his setting up games workshop in 1975, and he also talks about how huge board games are now, which of course you all guys all know because you have, you're all there with us. And um, and then it moves on to. Um, a board games in a hundred moves, and um, so that's kind of like a hundred uh, key board games, I suppose, if you like. Um, starting back in 31,000, 31, starting back in 3100 BCE with Senate, um, going through uh, to the adventure of chess, dominoes, drafts, Krieg, Spiel, Travelers Tour through the United States, and then very quickly up to 1825, every man to his station, moving through the Landlord's game with the forerunner of uh, Monopoly and then Scrabble, Diplomacy, Yahtzee, and then great childhood favourites like Mouse Trap, uh, Mastermind, and then start to get into the more kind of interesting mechanic, maybe Hare and Tortoise, one of the early uh, Spielers de Yara winners, and uh, then things like Cosmic Encounter, Civilization, Trivial Pursuit, remember that? And uh, then the Warlock of Firetop Mountains made it into here, funnily enough, as has Warhammer, Magic the Gathering, and then sort of more recent games, Twilight Struggle, Ticket to Ride, Small World, Spender, Sushi Go Party, which I do like, and Seven Wonders, that kind of stuff, and it ends with The Mind, which is a great game if you, if you, want, if you haven't played it. Really easy and simple to pick up, and really good fun to play. I should say, although it says Ian Livingstone on the front cover, it is Anne James Wallace, who I think is uh, writes for Tabletop Gaming Magazine, and he's probably written a fair chunk of this. Um, and then basically it just goes through uh, the, um, kind of almost through that timeline, but in slightly more detail so it starts off with uh, I'll find the chapters for you so it starts off with uh, wooden stone so kind of who goes first and, and that kind of uh, early board games paper and print the wild goose game cardboard um, and then up to uh, like kind of monopoly and stuff like that and then the invention of the use of plastic in games up to the imagination which is kind of like the birth of role playing games and such like and that does include Triple Pursuit in there as well though and then the future and then kind of how games have gone and then what we're up to up to now so looking I'm going to look through this backwards so the book finishes with well it finishes with all the Spiel of Diara as well as uh, but it finishes with like new ways to play so it's got um, the when in Rome which is the Alexa game and Beast of Balance which I have got which is really good fun um, it involves you know pine things up on a on a on a plinth um it's app enabled uh, but it's got massive games like exploding kittens in here and um uh, i think the mind is in here as i said and it's got you've got uh, mysterium so all kind of all modern favorites which a lot of you probably played and love code names machikoro um and then you know that, that's kind of the future of it and then going down we've got sort of uh cluedo and legacy pandemic pandemic legacy that kind of thing and then these guys remember these, these things here really resonate with anybody yes Ian Livingstone's and Steve Jackson's fighting fantasy books uh, it goes back towards D&D uh, &D, um, and, and that kind of stuff 
Um, so it's you know it's a really it's a really really nice book. Warhammer is in here. If I turn to the imagination section, so from the in the imagination section we've got a lot of uh, probably what your favourite books are. So you've got the arrival of Dungeons and Dragons, um, and that kind of whole new way of playing games, which we kind of all take for granted now. But of course at the time it's completely groundbreaking. And there's a few pages dedicated to the evolution of Games Workshop. There's that fat picture which you might have seen before of uh, people queuing outside the an early Games Workshop store. So yes, I had a copy of. Uh, uh, what that book from Warhammer first edition. I think I bought it after I bought Warhammer second edition. I went back and, and got, I think I've just got the book. I didn't get. The, I think it was a box. I didn't get the box. Um, and then it goes on to the uh, demise of the old world and um, what is fun usually for Gate Dorling Kindersley. A, really quite terrible photo of which you can't see my on my video camera of the original Age of Sigmar box set that was here not that long ago but the original Age of Sigmar box set and you've got a lovely uh, lo Lady Oleander miniature there so it kind of talks about the evolution of Warhammer 140,000 there is only war and all that kind of stuff and um, there's a little focus on there uh, but basically yeah, this is if you like board games, you're interested in the evolution of board games in particular. This is a really good book. It's I say it's it's really easy to read. It's fascinating to flick through. It. I was chatting over it with my wife. Obviously, she plays board games. She's not that into them though, but she she remembers board games from her childhood, and and then obviously she's seen the ones I bought home and played, and uh, she does enjoy a bit of code names and things like that. So it's quite a good, quite a good uh, sort of almost like a coffee table book to sit and chat about board games in there. And it's just really interesting to go back and look at the origins of board games and the history of board games. Uh, board games you've forgotten, board games that you love like how on earth did Monopoly become so big but it kind of contextualises all that talks about the evolution of Monopoly and um, the kind of board games as a, as a force and then, and then how they end up so massive today in our lives so I really you know it's only a quick review but I really like this book and you know you're going to want to read it I think so there's probably not much more I can say about it it's just a really great little book if you want to read about board games from from beginning to end so there you go. Who knows what will happen in the board game world in the future? There's obviously Kickstarter's having a massive effect, and Games Workshop's going from strength to strength. Ian Livingstone's still writing his fighting fantasy game book, so you know the, the stories and the challenges and the fun is going to go on and on. Do consider picking up a copy of this really nice little book. Perfect Christmas present for all you game fans out there. Christmas is just on the horizon now. Um, and so, um, yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was useful. And uh, do check out this book. And of course, do like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. We've got more games gaming content coming with you uh, Pete and I are going to be playing a brand new game well, it's not a brand new game we're going to be playing something completely non-GW this week um, with our friend Stu so do look out for that too and uh, we'll see you soon bye